all those freaking cannons though. The rugged hangman. Freaking broadside, man. Yeah. Welcome back to The Last Leviathan. Today, I'm setting out to build a legitimate ship uh, that actually looks like a pirate ship type of build, Viking ship, whatever, however you want to say it, like an old ship. Not like anything, you know, I've made some really cool builds so far, and if you guys haven't seen any, seen them, definitely go back and watch the videos. I made a catamaran, I made a, the Deathbringer, which I guess was kind of like a ship. It was pretty, it was kind of a little fat thing, <laughs> though. Uh, the Drifter, which is like kind of a pontoon melee thing pyramid which is an fbs killer uh the rum runner which is uh this one is the legit one it kind of looks like a boat the let's see what else did i make um i was working oh i call that sled at first a sub i can't figure out how to delete these and then i think wave runner was one that i made too yeah wave runner and so i've made quite a few already uh but today i'm going to try to build like an actual ship and so let's go ahead and load up a new one and uh, let's f figure out how we want this to look so I would like this to be kind of at the top of the uh, top of the ship let me see let's go back here for this back as we can for the most part okay so this is gonna have like an elevated I'm gonna raise it this is gonna be elevated up here at the top let's get some different wood shall we let's try this wood yeah it looks better and uh this so this is going to be kind of like the i don't know what you call it the top of the ship where you can like look over the edge and i want to try to make it like a legitimate ship and so it's going to take a while to make this but i think we can make it look really well done if we manage to do this right and so I'll be kind of cutting in and out through the video, just showing kind of the process. And so hopefully you guys will stick around and uh, hopefully you guys wind up liking the uh, build once I have it completed. Okay, so here's what I have so far. Uh, it's looking pretty good. I use these corner pieces for the first time. They're kind of nice to work with. Uh, you just need wedges and then you can use these things the plain wooden wedge and then we have like walkways going up here which is kind of cool i just need to figure out how to kind of cap this off so it's not just like you know nothing going up there and uh, then there's like a quarters in here and yeah it's it's looking pretty good so far and it's a good start to the majority of the ship i'm really excited to kind of keep working with this and figuring out how to best like get a good looking build now i don't know Maybe I can do something like this. I'm trying to figure out how to... Yeah, that's not too bad. It's kind of a different look. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Just something different than what I've been doing. Uh, I messed that up. Need to spin that around more. Like that. Yeah. Because then we can somehow kind of cap that off even if we need to figure out how to we could do like we could just do that just gives it a different look than what we have done so far yeah it's kind of cool and then we can even put like railings right there if we needed to to kind of just add to it which we can do let's just see what it looks like adding some railings um i don't know about that it's not bad it's not bad it just doesn't keep the look really to kind of how we want I like it just like that. Let's just keep it that way and uh, go from there. Okay, uh, this is what I have so far. It looks pretty sweet. I'm really excited to see if this even floats. It's. I realized it's really thin, and that might be an issue. We're in the wild ships class. Wild ships class too. And we have. I'm making a uh, lower deck right now. I'm. I'm really concerned about the about this, guys, because I, I. I'm unsure if this is actually going to work. Like, I really don't know. So I'm going to put a keel on this thing just because I think it's necessary. But I'm not entirely sure if this thing's going to actually float. Uh, I might have to fill in, like, the lower part. I'm not too sure. But it, let's just set sail here. Oh, yeah, it does. 
It's a little weighted down in the back though, it looks like. Oh, maybe not actually. Looks okay. Okay, so let's just keep working on this. Um, some of it in the back looked like it like fell off somehow. I don't really know what happened there. So let me just fill this side in here. And now we have a lower deck. We'll, maybe we can even put some barrels and stuff down in there and just kind of like add to the look of it. Um, yeah, let's just do that. Uh, let's see. We got to kind of keep the weight distribution even though. So that's... This is really hard to work with the... Uh, we can put it like in the corner. It's really hard to work with the weight distribution and the and then also work with like the camera to make sure that the weight is like perfect because the camera really uh, isn't like set up to e be easily used in my opinion. There we go. So now we get some barrels down there just kind of as for looks. Let's go ahead and fill this side in with the double blocks. It looks pretty nice. I, I'm, I'm really excited to test it out on the high seas and see just how good it is. Okay, so the bottom is filled. So now we need to probably add a keel because it is a really large ship. Fin. Oops, let's see. Also, I don't know if... Do we just need one of those fins? I think so, huh? I don't really know much about naval ship building or anything. Alright, let's try that. How's that look? Looks pretty freaking cool. It's called the Rugged Hangman, which is a cool name. So, let's see. We gotta put some armor and stuff on the thing. We've got the figurehead. Let's go ahead and uh, see, I like it. It's just hard to like zoom in and stuff. Okay, let's put like a thing right there. That's how you get down in there. Oh, I just I just did something. I don't know what I did there. Thought I got rid of something, I'm not too sure. My dog is snoring too, that doesn't help. He's so freaking loud, I swear. He like ruins every video. That's why like I've started like just not even like just putting him out. But I usually have to have I have to have him in here when my wife is gone because if I don't he like will go nuts and uh like whine the whole time and then you hear that in the video so it's just like dude I can't win I can't win what what do what keeps happening there I'm like clicking like page down oh I'm clicking the side of my mouse and it's page down oh that makes sense oh you know what we don't have is like a we don't have a ramp going down that would help although it's not it's not necessary really wait let's do this there we go I got I gotta I gotta have a good look to it you know what I mean like I want it to be I wanted it to be like somewhat legit so this is what we have to do whoops what happened there is there can I move this can't move it though. It's it's not it's not properly there we go. Not properly oriented. So where is it? Is that in the right spot? No. Way off. The cam is focused on the on the uh there we go. I think that's good. It's focused on the center, like the driving thing there. And so you can't like really get, what is that called? The wheel. It's not really like in a good position to work with. Okay. So we need a rudder and we need some props. So, oh, we're going to be taking on water. Don't want to be taking on water back there. Even though I don't think that that's really modeled in. Uh, maybe it is actually. I'm not too sure. Okay, so movement. Let's do large rudder. We'll do the large propeller since it's a larger ship. And we're going to get some sails up in here. So let's go back the hall. Let's put a... I'm going to get the big, the big sail. The big sail. Um, is there usually... 
It's probably there's usually just one sale, right? Well, no, there's like multiple sales, depending on the size of the ship, I think. Okay, let's do that. Let's go to movement. The big we need the big sale. Can we change change the image of this? What the heck, yo? Do we need to raise that up? Movement. Why can't I place that down? It's so confusing to me. It doesn't give you a reason why you can't place it down. Rotate around the current attachment point. Hmm. Do I need to raise it up even more? Oh, you know what it is? I think it's too high. Yeah, that's it. It's too high. There we go. There we go. Sweet. Oh, what? That's a cool flag. How do you get that flag? What the heck? Mass bad. Whoa, what the heck? Is that going to even work? All right, let's set sail. Is it working? I think so. Let's go. Yeah. We made a, sh a legit ship. Why is that little line there? Where's the wind at? It looks like the wind is it's pushing us right now. Maybe it's just because the ship is so large. Can broadside? Oh yeah. All those guns. The rugged hangman. Even though it's not very rugged looking. It looks very clean actually. <laughs> it's a very clean... I think the wind blows uh, this way. All the time. No matter what. In the game right now. It actually works quite well. Yeah look. See. There we go. Wind's blowing against us. So we can only really go... Hold on a second. Uh, we, I want to figure something out with this 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 one right here. Get it in a different spot. Cause it's not bad, but it just needs it just. I want to get a different look going on. So let's go to movement. Wait, let's go to hall. We're gonna put a block down right here, which is right in front of the the walkway down. But I don't really care at this point. Does that not work or something? It has to work. Right? It's got to work. That one has to work. Um, okay, let's see. And then we got to put some more stuff on it to make it look legit. I wish we could change the camera f angle here. Maybe you can and I just don't know about it. Because I can't, I can't see what I'm... I can't see what I'm looking at here. It's, an, it's really annoying. There we go. There we go. Okay, so that's that's good. And we'll put one right here. All right, that's that's better. That's better. Oh yeah, here we go. Look at this. Put some armor on it. I've got all the guns. I've got another two two sa two extra sails. I've got guns in the front now. Bring along the long nines. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, sick. This is like a legit pirate ship right here, guys. Um, I'm really pleased with this thing. But here's the only thing. It is so freaking slow. And also, another issue is the fact that it's like almost as big as the bounding box. And I can't really uh, get it to go any faster. I wonder if I put some more props on this thing. If that will help at all. It might. I don't know. Uh, I also... I also want to put more armor on the thing to get it to look like even sweeter than it is now. I can line this whole thing with armor. Because we're still doing well with the FPS, which is kind of shocking to me. I thought for sure it would like be like very limited and detrimental as a result, but it's actually not bad. Let's go, let's move to these for the back here. 
There we go. Some added protection in the back. Uh, I kind of want to. I kind of wish I had more more cannons on the thing. We're at 35, 35, uh, thousand power score. Maybe we can put another weapon right here. Another cannon right in the front here. Oops, not that way. There we go. Sweet. Nice. I love it. I love it. Bring it around. Let's do it. Yeah. We got an extra knot, guys. Ooh, nice. Up to six now. Not bad. Got the guns in the front. Dude, this thing is legit looking. I'm so glad I tried to make this. Uh, I wish I wish that the wind would change course though so we can actually, you know, what okay, here's what the game needs to be able to like put the sails up and just use the propeller because I can't go that way. It like puts my ship at like a like a halt, complete halt. Let me see if I can hit these uh hit this thing up here. Oh man. Oh man. Oh, not even close. Oh, I blew off something on my own ship. <laughs> I'm blowing stuff off off my ship. Wait, what do we do? Oh, I just blew off that middle part. That's not bad though, because I mean, most times you don't get into an engagement where it's like you're shooting up, you know? You're like, you're just uh, shooting at something that's kind of like right in front of you. But all those freaking cannons though. The rugged hangman. Freaking broadside, man. Yeah. It's so awesome. So awesome. This is like, this is going to be, I'm going to save this thing for like actual naval battles because it is not bad at all. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this episode. If you have, click that thumbs up button below. Feel free to subscribe. Check it out in the workshop if you guys are if you guys are playing. You want to check it out for yourself. I upload everything to the workshop. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.